Hello and welcome to this video around the DNT Mechanisms Unit of Work looking at levers and linkages. In this short video I am going to show you how to make three different types of mechanisms using strips of card. So let's get started with a simple lever mechanism. I have already pre-cut these sections of card just to save a bit of time. So here is my lever and then this is going to be my output. So the first thing we want to do is to make a hole in our lever so we can form our loose pivot. So I'm just using a hole punch and I'm going to pop it into the hole punch make sure it's nice and central and then just punch that through and I'll show you an alternative way to make a hole if you don't have a hole punch later on in the video and also we're going to do it with this one as well so here we go we're going to show you how to make a hole in a different way. So if you have any blue tack or plasticine place that on your cutting board and then a sharp pencil and just punch it through to the other side. This will make sure you've got a nice clear hole. There we go. So the next thing I want to do is to make a loose pivot. So there's two types of pivot we need when we're making levers and linkages. A loose pivot is when we are joining the lever to the output directly just using a split pin. So I'm just going to pull those sides apart. And then we need to attach this to our backboard. So I'm going to get my blue tack again. And just to show you where to make the hole, I'm going to mark it out there. Put my blue tack through on the other side. And punch it through. There we go. So this would be our other type of pivot, which is known as a fixed pivot. And a fixed pivot is just when we attach it to the backboard. Here we go. It's all a little bit fiddly. Separate that split pin. And we do have the start of our mechanism. I've just put these split pins different ways just to show you clearly on the video that one is a loosed pivot and one is a fixed pivot. So to make our lever stay in place we might want to use a guide or a bridge. So I'm just using this strip of sugar paper here and just pop two dots of glue at the end, not too close to the lever, because or else it will stop it from moving. And I'm just going to place it over my lever like that, so it holds it securely in place. Now you can see that when I pull my lever, we have a movement output. So we've got a linear input of forwards and backwards and our output is an arc shape which is also known as an oscillating movement so there is our simple lever i'll just pop that one there and we'll move on to our next sort of lever so this mechanism is known as parallel motion so what we need to do is place 
some holes in the bottom of our output levers again. So here we go. Nice and even. There we go. And I'm going to do the same, but this time on my lever, I'm going to need two. There's one. Let's try for our second. Let's go a bit there. Perfect. And I need two more holes in these a little bit further up for our fixed pivots. There's one. And it works really well if we do this with a sharp pencil because it makes our hole nice and clear. There we go. So now I've got my lever and my output. And I'm going to start creating my loose pivots. So for my loose pivots, I want to grab two split pins. And I'm going to go through from this side and just separate them. So it's really important not to make them too tight or else I could stop them from moving. And I'm just going to pop another one through there. There we go. So through doing this by yourself, you'll probably find out that there is lots of different ways that you can do this. This is just three of the most simple mechanisms to get you started. Just popping my blue tack on the other side again. Punch that one through. Stop and three. So now we need to create our fixed pivots to our backboard here. So I'm going to grab my lever with my loose pivots on and I'm going to come through the other side just to help you see the difference. them again and come through that side now just a little bit fiddly lining it all up there we go and I'm just going to separate them again for you And now I'm just going to add another bridge. This just helps to keep our lever in a fixed position. So as you can see, I'm going to put glue on one end, glue on the other, and place it over, making sure that glue is not touching our lever or else it's not going to move. And once again, we've got our linear input or our reciprocating movement, which is in which is inwards and backwards. And you can see that our output is in that arc shape again, which we know is an oscillating movement. So there is our second type of mechanism. So now let's have a look at our final type of mechanism. So this time you can see that I've got two levers, two bridges, and one output, which is actually not our output, it's our middle piece. So what I'm going to need for these levers is two, one hole in each end, one hole in the end of each lever. So there you can see I've lined it up, and I'll punch that through, and I'll do exactly the same to the other one. So we'll place our lever in there. And we've punched that one through. So for this middle piece, we're going to need three holes, one in each end. 
pump one in the middle. So it's a bit tricky to get this hole punch exactly in the middle. So I'm going to get my blue tack again and I'm going to roughly find the middle, which I think is about there. And use my blue tack to punch a hole through. So for this middle piece, I'm going to need to fix that middle hole. So I'm going to say about there. And I'm going to use the blue tack to push it through to make my fixed pivot. I'm going to come through again with that split pin. onto it as well, open up the ends, and then we've got our middle piece attached by a fixed pivot, and then going to come through this side, and attach that one, probably should have done that before the fixed pivot, as you can see it's it's not too bad because it's card. And my other lever. So this type of mechanism is called a reverse motion mechanism. And you'll see how that works in a minute. So there's my two loose pivots. I'm going to place bridges at both ends just to make sure that those levers stay in exactly the same position as they are. So glue at each end, remembering not to put the glue on the lever. That's my first one. Glue on this end and glue on that end. And these just act as little supports to stop it from moving out of place. So now we can see that if I put this input in, so I pull it backwards, it's going to push forwards. And if I push this end, it's going to pull it backwards. So that's why we call it a reverse motion. So it's a bit like a Z, if you can see that shape. So I hope this video was useful in showing you the three different types of mechanism that can be made using some strips of card and a fixed pivot, a loose pivot and a bridge. Thank you for watching, I hope that was helpful.